Capita Cape Town, world class, innovative, like the latest innovation, offer sleepovers on the carpet for a 300 rand you may or may not see, with two birds with one stone. You won't be late and you will be rewarded for your loyalty by going an inch further up our ass. Ah, the smell of success that soon turns into the smell of regret, bibi tabak, and cheap dah. Why am I not surprised? I mean, it's not the first time that they do ridiculous things with a straight face. In essence, you just a number. I personally won top performer of the quarter and they spelled my name wrong on the certificate. I mean this email, teams, my ID for fuck's sake. Anyways, I let a dog take a cock on me. Jan Clint Strauss is a slimy reptilian motherfucker who should be fired out of a cannon into the sun. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Why do I say this? I'll drop a link shortly to show you the real Jan Clint Strauss. After contracting this COVID-19 business myself, I was obviously in isolation and upon return, this was the setup coming into the building. Some of these people didn't even scan. I mean, you can't put security guards in charge of health and safety. Come on now. Um, it's unfair to blame them. However, as you can see in these videos, I haven't been scanned at all. I just come in and sign and they assume that I've been scanned at the bottom and you don't get scanned at the bottom. So is it my fault that I didn't ask to be scanned or is it their fault that they did not conduct their job properly? Because I'm just signing in and going to the building like nothing's happening. As you can see, I mean, these offenses per offense uh, carries a fine of 10,000 Rand. The reason why I'm sharing this video with you comes as a result of my pleas not being answered, CCMA not answering me, and uh, Capita making a swift move to rid themselves of me by their special means which they can obviously justify.
However, as it turns out, standing up for your rights is not a good idea. As for some reason, they feel they're entitled to treat you and speak to you as they wish and threaten as they wish. Next thing you know, you get fired for insubordination or for being late twice two or three months ago. That's how far they'll dig. And find minor cases across the board which they then use to build a case made entirely of Lego blocks, however, is justified under their company policy and procedure which they failed to undertake at the time that the offense was committed. The excuse will be, we are not omnipresent. And that is true. However, that also opens up possibility for you to choose a specific person if you so wish and check up on them. There is no secret that the industry works this way. Check across the board. They will feed you bullshit like we are going to upskill you. Upskill me in what? Most of the people who are in call centers arrived with their skills already. What more can you possibly give? It's an elaborate way of saying we are up informationing you because these skills that they provide you with you cannot use at Coca-Cola. Imagine that interview. I was a floor walker, I was a coach, I was top performer of the quarter They'll be like, no sir, we don't do that here. This is Coca-Cola, please. This so-called skills development is not skills development because you cannot use that skills in other organizations. Those skills are specific to the organization and they know it very well. However, it's sold to you as though you are going to upskill yourself, empower you with knowledge and skills that is insignificant to any other organization outside of our own. The only universal skill you can attain is becoming a team leader manager or joining the training department, as your skill set will allow for more diverse opportunities even outside of the call center industry. The rest are fucked. So you're probably wondering what you're watching. I decided to film myself coming in, as I've mentioned before, and not getting scanned, proper protocol was not followed. But this is just video evidence of these things happening. And these are things that are being overlooked. So, in essence, we are being exploited as a result of us not having a union. And because we are working for BPOs, third parties, guess what? If you decide to strike, you get fired immediately. Those who do not strike simply get moved to another campaign should they lose the campaign that people were striking on. So, there's no platform to enforce your rights, to protect your rights. The CCMA is inundated with cases. Human Resources Department deal with human related issues via email however if it's time to get fired they then show up in person and in most cases have a preconceived notion 
based on information supplied by their trusted colleagues. After that, the guard for drinks and play Whose Line Is It Anyway? If you know what I'm saying. Capita Cares is the most remarkable load of hogwash I have ever heard and experienced. They care about their money. So an artificial culture is created and sadly many people eat that shit up. I for one have never subscribed to this notion. It's a fuck up of cataclysmic proportion. It's outright deception so you can continue to be in this financial and psychological hamster wheel. Where they give you just enough to make you feel as though you've got everything to lose. The psychology has been used since forever and the sad part is, is that we continue to buy into this shitty psychology and some or most of us know exactly what it is however we've got kids to feed we've got bills to pay life gets real so we grin and be for the purpose of continuity while it slowly chops away at your soul. What's important is that you get to feed your kids and take care of your family. However, given all these new wonderful innovations at the cost of mothers and fathers missing quality time with their children, consumed by an unnatural schedule, robbed, robbed of precious moments you can never get back.